I'm Laura Seeholm. I was program manager for about 10 years, and prior to that, I was a tutor learner coordinator for about two years. I started with the program as a volunteer tutor, and my first student's name is Dorothy. And um, I will always remember getting a letter from her husband, Al, talking about how Dorothy had just grown. She had, she was participating in her family's household business. She, her confidence had grown. He even talked about her sitting in bed at night and reading and how thrilled he was to just see the transformation in her. And you know what? That is what prompted me to want to work for Project Second Chance. My name is Susan Lynn and I was the program director, program manager. It was a little over nine years that I was in that role. PSC made a difference in a lot of people's lives, but the one that stands out for me um, was a man named Doug, who came to us with a very, very low reading skills. But he had owned his own business, but he never told anybody that he couldn't read. And then as his skills developed, as he found the program and was tutored, he started doing a lot of public speaking and was really out there for the program. He even went with us to speak to Congress and really helped um, open their eyes to the needs for the program. My name is Nora LaPointe. I began working for PSC in its first year in 1984. We started in library administration in a 10 by 10 square foot little cubicle. One of our first students became um, an ABC Learner of the Month. The media picked up on this focus on adult literacy and he was our, our first famous person at Project Second Chance. To feel um, confident when I speak English, when I read English, when I listen to others. So I have the opportunity to work with different people, with diversity people and English. So she's certified in her job now to be a clerk, to work in the office, to follow instruction and give instruction in English. And that was a goal that she had when she started. And I am so proud of her accomplishment to have a chance to work with Lillian and, and play with Lillian and to learn with Lillian and, and do it um, joyfully together. You know, I think Project Second Chance is a great program for both the learner and the tutor, and I think there's opportunity for, uh, for growth for both. Well, it's, um, it's the comfort that you have with the person, and uh, you are not scared to say, well, I don't know this, would you help me with it? And she was, she was right there, and she knew exactly what I was talking about. But I think also a friendship grows. Um, we had things in common, we both liked to garden, and so we, uh, some of our discussions and, you know, just when we would read different articles and if it had anything around gardening, we got excited. I taught her how to grow sweet potatoes. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> so that's, you know, I think that's the, you know, the friendship. It's important that PSC continues to exist because it's individualized, it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's geared to the learner, uh, it's geared to their family also. The other thing is that it's part of the library. And the library is a place where not only can an individual go, but an entire family can go to get the help they need with everything from story time to literacy help to homework help to you name it. So PSC is pretty important to this community. Oh gosh, there's so much. When I think about what it's meant to me, um, it's meant so much to the library, I think, because having Project Second Chance there has created a lot of new readers who can come to the library now, and a lot of children who can come to the library to story times because their parents aren't afraid of coming to the library. Just having a learner take that first step into the, a library door is really quite incredible. We brought people into the library that would have never been library users, whether it was the students, the tutors, or the, or the families. I think we really expanded 
the community of people who use the library. And on an individual level, the students and the tutors, their lives were changed by the work that they did, their relationships to each other and the program. And I once heard Ann Kane, who was the library director at the time, I've heard her say this more than once, that knowing Project Second Chance and what it was stood for and the people who worked for it made her a better person so that I know we affected community on all levels.